What you're looking at is a photo from the 1970s taken in Glen Rose, Texas of the riverbed of the Paluxy River. Now, there's a couple of things I want to point out here. These right here are, according to those who recorded this photo, are human footprints. Let's take a deep dive into this and let's be objective as much as we possibly can. One of the objections to this not being human footprints is the fact that this right here, this limestone that these impressions are in, is 105 to 110 million years old. That's the, the, the age assigned by modern day geologists. So therefore this couldn't be humans, why? Humans have only been around for three to four million years, again, according to evolutionary theory. From a creationist perspective, this mud, this limey mud, was put down during the worldwide flood. As a result, a human was walking through this, perhaps trying to get to higher ground, and it left this impression the limey mud hardened because other layers came over it within 12 to 24 hours, and then it hardened, just like cement. All right. The other criticism is that these are just eroded dinosaur prints. I'm going to show you a closer look. Do these look like a, let's say, a three-toed dino, and then there's been erosion here? I'm going to show you a three-toed dino print where you obviously can tell that that is a three-toed dino. I mean, in the same strata nearby. Now, if these are not eroded like they say they are, then these may be just exactly what they're saying they are, human footprints. Notice the left-right progression as they are walking. Notice there's no tail marks, anything dragging behind it like a tail. Are these human footprints? I believe they are. From a creationist perspective, this is a, an easy one. From an evolutionary perspective, it can't be no matter how convincing these tracks are. Therefore, what you'll hear from the critics, and you'll read it in the comment section, that this has been debunked years ago. Has it? Let a new generation look at these and consider it themselves.